the tooth. See? We're we're building snowballs and having a snowball fight and going on icicle hunts and doing snow. So enjoy your day, everyone. Enjoy your day. I made snow cones. It's our uh, our annual devotions in the snow. Annual devotions in your in, in the snow day here in Albuquerque. Uh, <coughs> Oh, we're all slowed down today. I uh, hope that you stay close to home, stay safe, stay warm. Uh, most of the snow has passed. We've got a good, I don't know, three yeah. three to five inches up here on the Mesa. And uh, let's see. Happy, um, happy. Probably not going much today because it's uh, the, the cold has set in, and so none of it's clearing. The driveway's shoveled, but uh, it's good to spend a few moments here in devotion together while the kids play and enjoy uh, time in the snow here. Uh, Christ in our home, if you want to read along in devotion, first let God's word pour over you. Read along if you'd like. It's going to be Isaiah 6. We're just going to do uh, verses 6, 1 through 6, since I'm outside and it's cold. Here we go. In the year that King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord sitting on a throne high and lofty, and the hem of his robe filled the temple. Seraphs were in attendance above him. Each had six wings. With two they covered their faces, and with two they covered their feet, and with two they flew. And one called to another and said, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory. And boy, can you see the glory of the Lord in a, a bright white day uh, filled with snow like this, my friends. The pivots on the thresholds shook at the voices of those who called and the house filled with smoke and I said woe is me I am lost for I am a man of unclean lips and I live among a people of unclean lips yet my eyes have seen the King the Lord of hosts then one of the seraphs flew to me holding a live coal that had been taken from the altar with a pair of tongs word of God word of life let's uh, share a devotion together here um, called reluctant but Boy, where's the brightness on her phone? Hang on. Well, I don't know. This is what I get for being on lots of different devices because I don't have one here at home. All right, Re reluctant but sent. Oh, reluctant but send me is the title of our, of our devotion. Woe is me, I am lost. For I am a man of unclean lips, and I live among a people of unclean lips there. Verse 5. All right. A deeply faithful woman, Debbie, always brought her two children, aged school-aged children, to church. She got along well with everyone and loved helping out. Yet, when given the opportunity to lead a Sunday school class, she declined, explaining, I am not qualified. I didn't even go to college. Later, Debbie admitted, I'm scared. Isaiah, too, felt unqualified and undeserving when God called him to serve in a special way. But then God prepared Isaiah and gave him what he needed to fulfill the mission God had in store for him. It seems God typically calls ordinary people like you and me to accomplish holy work. Ordinary people who may feel ill-prepared, out of place, or as Debbie experienced, scared to take on a particular role. Uh, but Debbie learned, as Isaiah did, that when she finally said yes to the holy task, God would give her what she needed to succeed. And she became an ideal Sunday school teacher. Pray with me, won't you? Holy God, when you call us out of our comfort zones, help us to say, here I am, send me. Amen. Be as this cold day unfolds before you, stay warm, please. Pray for one another for and for um, when those when we feel reluctant to serve God in a certain way is the prayer concern. My hands are freezing. <laughs> it is cold. Um, but thanks for spending a few moments with me and uh, Addie and Benny dwelling in God's Word richly. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day today. Are you ready? Go ahead. <laughs>
<laughs> I told him they could throw a snowball at me when we were done. I uh, hope that brings you some delight. Enjoy today, friends, and be well.